Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Isaac. We are jumping in here with the Battle Fantasy mod showcasing a few of the new items that just came out in the update. And today we have the developer of this mod, Aeronaut, with us as we did previously. Uh, do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Aeronaut. I'm the main uh, lead developer of Battle Fantasy mod, as well as a couple of other smaller mods and the programmer of. Yeah, so um, we've kind of got like these three items here. We're not going to take all of them today. I think we're just going to take these two. Uh, but I just wanted to show off the new ones that we have here. So we've got the Liar here, which is a pretty interesting one. Um, that chance to fire a tier that has a minimum damage of 15, which is pretty good early on. And also doing some splash damage and stuff, which is pretty good. But these two are the ones we're going to be showcasing. Eden's Tears is a 25% chance to activate a random effect from a set list when an enemy is killed. And then we also have Wings of the Fallen, which is really, really the most interesting one, if you want to kind of cover that one a little bit. Yeah. So, Wing of the Fallen is um, an item that when you pick it up, uh, after you pick it up, every item you pick up from an alternate, alternating deal will give you two damage up. And yeah. to make it easier to fulfill that um, condition, uh, it replaces slot machines with confessionals sometimes. Yeah, so it's kind of like a, a back and forth, and that's something that you kind of do on some runs anyways, but now there's like a specific reason to do so. I quite like it. We're just playing as Kane here because I thought, why not? But let's uh, let's sort of get in and start the run. Um, and one thing I have to say as well, um, some of you may have seen me use Battle Fantasy. It got quite a few updates since I last used it, and it performs significantly better now. So just if any of you want to actually try out... Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, like, even, even just right now, after installing it, I can feel that it, 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 it feels way better. Yeah. yeah Isaac mods can um, be a bit fickle, can't they? With, uh... Oh, what? Whoa. Okay. Okay, I'm guessing this is some of the random effects happening. We just got two runes from killing some spiders. I mean, that room was, was full of enemies, so I'm guessing there was the 25% chance triggered a few times there, but... That's pretty interesting. Um, and we've got an air walls here that we can pop down. Lovely stuff. Oh, and we get sinus infection as well. Very, very nice. But yeah, you were saying that you've been uh, you've been in the modding scene for, for, for quite a while, just working on some smaller things. But there's also um, some other stuff like you were saying about the Abyss Locusts uh, that you worked on as well, originally. Yeah, so uh, one of the previous mods I've worked on before... I learned how to program uh, Isaac Mods it was called uh, Arrows Locust Expansion. It's just um, inspired yeah, by like it, yeah. a locust expansion, yeah, that um, was a predecessor to it by uh, Revy. And yeah, um, so that that one's the Abyss Plus Plus one, right? Uh, no, the the one by Revy is like a very small one. Ah, okay. So. I looked at that mod and thought, why not expand upon it? And like, it doesn't have to like, I don't have to like give every single one and like a special effect, just like at the very least thought it would be nice for the Locust to at least look different. So I made the mod and like uh, made Locust all the way up to Rebirth, but lost motivation on it. And uh, then so Abyss a Plus Plus do, yeah. picked up. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so there's kind, where of, I left off. there's kind of been like three versions essentially. But was was it was it your version or the version before that actually used some some like commented out code that, uh, that had actually been written for um, for the locusts that was originally intended to be developed? Something along, along those lines. I swear I remember seeing there was uh, some actual stuff that had been written by uh, what's what's this name? Kilburn. Um, what exactly do you mean? You so like... the the um, the locust effects, the actual like, oh, I'm this is, I'm I'm really liking these these random effects I'm getting here. That's pretty cool. Um, the 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 different locust effects uh, that that you can see in the game. Some of them obviously do exist in the base game. Uh, there's there's mm -hmm. like three or four of them, I think. It's very very few. But I'm pretty sure that. Kilburn did intend for it to work the way that like your mod did, where a lot more items were going to have effects. And I'm pretty sure in the files somewhere when Repentance first came out and people were sort of talking about it, um, someone found like a, a file that was like a bunch of commented out um, different effects that were that were going to apply to items that Kilburn just never got around to actually implementing. Hmm. 
Okay, I think I see what you mean. So, like, that file specifically just had, like, every um, locust listed, yeah. but each one still had the default properties. Mm -hmm. and there was there was a few that, um, that like, I, th I think Jacob's Ladder's one that did have effects. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, um, all those uh, locusts. The, like, the interesting thing about the locusts, actually, is I found out while making the expansion mod that whatever hard-coded stuff behind it is very similar to Bethany's Wisps. Oh, holy man, oh, goddamn. Really? Yeah, so, um, Bethany's Wisps, like, some of them have, like, set chances to do certain effects. Yeah. Like, you can set those chances in for the Locust as well, like, in the exact same way. Interesting. Same with their, like, color. I, I know that, um, um, I know that, like, wisps are used in all sorts of funky ways. Also, I lost my devil deal. Great stuff. Um, the, oh, these enemies, I absolutely hate these enemies, man. Um, the, I forgot what I was going to say now. These enemies have, have gotten into my head. <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, they just spread so much creep around. So much creep. I really like this, uh, the, the boiler floor, but goddamn. But yeah, um, I gotta say, I know that mods use, uh, use wisps in all sorts of funky ways. Like, certain, certain ones that give you a damage up. Like, if you get a, a modded item that gives you a damage up, it doesn't just give you a damage up. It gives you an item that gives you an invisible wisp that's invincible that you can't see and that's what gives you the damage up it's yeah there's, there's some really dude look at this thing Stop. i cannot see it <laughs> <laughs> oh man one second right we're back sorry unfortunately aeronaut couldn't actually see what i was doing so we fixed that <laughs> i was making comments about the run and complaining about stuff meanwhile aeronaut has no idea what the hell i'm talking about <laughs> yeah it's like Interview hard mode over here. <laughs> yeah, I got no context for what's going on. Oh, man. Oh, well, luckily you only missed a few minutes. We got Holy Mantle. That's what happened. <laughs> and I was complaining about enemies well, in the boiler floor. That's because, pretty cool. Goddamn, they can be pretty rough. And I lost my devil deal because I'm an idiot. Um, I was really hoping yeah, I wouldn't um, because of this item, but <laughs> hey-ho. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the wisps thing. So, <laughs> that's like one of the many hacks that like the modding community had to come up with that's like really stupid but just like cool that it works yeah honestly. it's it is it, it is kind of like a a, a weird like genius play <laughs> that's like it's yeah. so strange but it's like the fact that it works as well as it does is kind of wild because obviously the api in uh in isaac is just awful i mean repent gone has obviously added a ton of stuff but i don't think it's fixed that yet it has it um it has like a feature to add um, innate items. I think it's like similar to how Lilith's Incubus works, but like there's okay, some, yeah. but there's like some um, details, like fine details that just uh, don't work. Like it supposedly doesn't work on save and exit. Like you'll lose whatever item yeah. you added. Sa so, save and exit is an absolute pain. Cause it's like, you don't, you like you have to sort of think about it and try and make things work around it. But at the same time, it's like, why bother? Because most people don't save an exit. <laughs> mm hmm Ooh, We got a damage up. Nice. Uh, one okay. of the other interesting hacks that, like, came out of the modern community was... I think it was, like, maybe a year and a half or so after the um, Invisible Wisp trick was discovered. Mm hmm It was, like, to make revive items. And they, like, used Soul of Lazarus to kill the player and then just, like, did their... Um, revive effect, like the custom revive effect. <laughs> so, like, basically you revive with another item, and then it does the effect of the item you actually want it to do. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, man. It's Isaac modding. It, honestly, people that don't sort of really know the background of, like, Isaac modding, like, what's going on behind the scenes, it's 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 a wild ride. It's 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 not like many other games. This game is not that easy to mod. I mean, it's why like when you look at something like Fiend Folio, it's an absolutely insane feat that they pulled off. <laughs> Cause it's just there's just so much jank in Isaac and so much things that, that don't work that should. Mm-hmm. 
I will take the max HP in the hope. Oh my god, look at my character. Look what's happened to my face. It looks beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, let's talk a bit, little bit about um, about Battle Fantasy. How long have you been working on it? Yeah, so um, the mod, like the programming development cycle, it took around two years. Yeah. It quite honestly while, right? could have taken... Yeah, it honestly could have taken less time, but I was like pretty busy with high school because I was taking very hard classes. Yeah, I mean so that seems that seems really to be the delight of most models, to be honest. Like, because you, you you're basically it, see, it seems that with with a lot of modding, Isaac and other games, you get into it as a way to procrastinate doing work and do something more fun, um, and then mm -hmm. you actually get to the point where school becomes more important and you don't have time to actually work on it. Ipecac at the minute has that exact same problem. The Ipecac community mod, uh, the two developers uh, have worked really. They're working really hard at the minute to rebuild it from the ground up because. As anyone that's played that mod knows, it's a great mod, but it's a laggy piece of shit. Um, <laughs> it's like the, the laggiest mod that exists. Um, and so basically they're like, now we're Pentagon's out, let's just remake the whole thing from scratch. And they've been doing a good job of it, but like both of them are like, like in the middle of like a lot of school work and stuff. So it's just like very, very slow progress. Right. Ooh, so we did get a devil deal here. So we want to take a devil deal first, right? Or is it angel deal first? Angel deal first, because normally okay. you'd get the item from a yes. devil deal. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Ah, I see. So it kind of kickstarts it by taking that item. That's kind of good. Yeah. I like that. Um, we'll go regular path now, I think. Uh, actually, I'm going to go bomb my mirror for reflected item chances. Yeah, so I can uh, talk some more about um, Battle Fantasy's conception. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm always interested in, like, sort of the background of, of mods, especially, like, item ideas and sort of... Because, like, I, I feel like a lot of the time with mods, like, it, it you might have had a, an idea for an item, like, four, five, six years before you actually ended up making it, and it's just been kind of waiting. <laughs> I mean, that's, like, kind of how it was in a way. So, I um, discovered Isaac in around, like... 2018 from one youtuber's videos and um didn't get the game until 2020 did you do and I did around and basically play it through northern lines videos for a long time mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I, I i basically knew so, the game inside and out before i ever bought it <laughs> <laughs> so in 2020 i was also like um getting into flash games because mm. flash was like um, honest way to being killed by Adobe. Yeah. <laughs> so, I just wanted to see if I could find any more hidden gems before they, like... Before they um, were gone. Yeah, before it was gone, and I'd have to, like, download um, other programs to play Flash games. And I found this series of games called Epic Battle Fantasy. And it's, like... Ah. A whole like six to eight hour RPG game all made in flash and I played the fourth game and the fifth game in the series and I really enjoyed them so considering that I had those two interests at the time like that game and Isaac yeah. I was like what if I combined them oh uh, so are some so of the I items just, like, from Battle Fantasy like actually from that other game yeah Oh, so, interesting, um, I didn't know that. Though, as I went along, I, um, thought, like, even though this game is, like, really great and it has, like, a, a, a good community that, like, love the game, it's, like, when you think of a Flash game, you don't think of that game, like, immediately. Yeah, yeah, I've so, not. I, like, I, I obviously, I've never been massively into Flash games, but I obviously haven't heard of it. <laughs> yeah, so I figured that, like, it would be a best to um, make the um, mod more like references and nods to the game. Yeah, rather than direct and not item just, like, copies. Completely Cause direct. Because people just won't know what the hell they are, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. I mean, it's really good to have like something like that. You get like some really, really good inspiration to, to implement your ideas, both thematically, because obviously I'm guessing some of the items are like effects are similar to that game, but also some of them are just like visual or like the, the teaser text or whatever is a, is a nod to rather than the item itself, the effect being the same. Yeah. But it's good to kind of have both levels of inspiration and mm. to have kind of a wrapper for your ideas. I like that. 
Oh. Yeah. So, let me think. Good old Zodiac. Good old Zodiac. Eventually, I do want to throw in more Flash game references. Yeah, I mean, I, I saw do, that like... on the I saw that on the mod page. It says more coming soon. So I'm assuming you've got a, like a decent amount more items you want to add. Yeah, and also like the tagline of the mod is like um, made with inspiration for um, appreciation for Isaac and Flash games. So like, it's kind of like weird that it's only referencing one at the moment. Yeah. It's mainly I mean, because that um, idea came in like a little late in development. To be fair, it's it's, it's actually like cra like crazy thematic for Isaac having like a flash game reference mod because Isaac already does a ton of that. <laughs> There's so many mm -hmm. flash games and, and various things that are referenced in Isaac, anyways, and like I, I wouldn't just say flash, but like sort of old internet memes, all that sort of stuff. So I think flash games is like a really really good. Um, really really good fit for isaac item theming and like you said there's just so many things that you can base off there's just so many great classic games that people know the references to and stuff yeah definitely good old dime um but yeah like you were sort of saying that like you didn't really have any programming lang uh, like programming knowledge when you first started modding. That was kind of the same as me. So I uh, I don't know if like school wise what background you you got in. I don't know if you did like programming at all at school or if you just learned it on your own. But I did uh, computer science with games development at university. Um, so I have mm -hmm. a decent like programming knowledge. I just choose not to program because I'm not good at it. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but I, I did, I did, um, four, three years at university and got a degree in programming and I'm like, eh, not for me, <laughs> mm. which bit, bit sucks a little bit, but uh, it is what it is. But anyways, it means that I have like a decent knowledge of like how things work and stuff. Uh, but I, I started kind of like you were saying with a locust mod where I, I wanted to do some modding, but I didn't have the coding knowledge with Isaac to really get into it like that. So I made my, uh, my secret rooms mod. Um, you've, right. You've, like, there's, there's a decent chance you use it. Yeah, I have used it before. Yeah, I gotta say it's it's kind of crazy how popular that mod got. Um, and yeah, that that was all like didn't have to do any coding for that. I was just able to use the Isaac Room Builder. I think it's called like Basement Renovator. I think it's called. Um, mm -hmm. That was really really fun to do. I mean, like even if it's not directly like writing code, I think getting into modding at that level is a lot of fun so i i can sort of see where from that locust mod the kind of inspiration to do bigger mods kind of started as, as i was saying did you kind of like teach yourself to code or was that something you were learning at school so even though like the locust mod was like basically like my biggest project before battle fantasy i'd say mm -hmm. um i had actually done coding like on the side around like when I was 14, like the first um, like foray into coding I had was with my calculator, actually. All right. <laughs> yeah, I was like bored in algebra class and um, I had, and I like finished the assignments like early because I was like pretty good at math. So I just like messed around with my calculator and um, like, some of the assignments were just, like, busy work. Yeah. There was, like, do uh, this type of problem. Here's 20 of them. Find the slope or whatever. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, I don't want to do this. Like, I know how to do this, but I don't want to do it. So I decided, why don't I just, like, like, my uh, calculator has programming functionality. Why don't I find out how to make a program to <laughs> make it do it for me. <laughs> That's kind of great. Yeah, uh, so I, I basically like... started there, and mm -hmm. uh, then I just, like, tried to do, like, bigger things. Like, I made um, a remake of the Impossible Quiz on the calculator. Oh, yeah, yeah. On the calculator. My god. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that was, like, basically the... Oh, I also made, like, a clicker game. Like, a simple clicker game. And that kind of built your interest in it. And then yeah. I'm guessing, I'm so guessing once you got interested like my in foundation. Isaac, once you got interested in Isaac and realized that it had the modding scene that it had. Yeah, that too. Yeah, I mean, and also, um, roguelikes the are fact just that, so like, fun to mod. 
Yeah, and also the fact that Lua isn't like that big of a step up from the calculator's language. I was like, I could probably handle this. I mean, despite the fact that it did take me like maybe three months to understand what the hell a callback was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess Lua is a really, really good language for people to start in. Really, it's uh, it's one of the more simple ones, definitely. Obviously, there's there's the Isaac Jank that you've got to work around, but it's reasonably simple as a as a lang as a programming language. Right. Yeah, I, I gotta say, I think um, I think getting started in modding from a calculator probably isn't the usual story. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> you got to start somewhere, Actually, I guess. Kilburn had like the same kind of story. Oh, like really? he started programming on a calculator and then just like learned uh, proper coding from there. <laughs> That's kind of wild. Oh man. It's not something I thought would be too common, but if Kilburn did it, then it's clearly a, a path to success. I mean, that guy's killing it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Oh man. Yeah, I guess I've, I've, I've like. I've wanted to try coding stuff, like pr making proper mods, but like then I started my YouTube and I put a lot of time into my YouTube and I'm just like, in my in my other extra spare time that I have, do I want a game or do I want to learn coding? And it's like I kind of just want a game. <laughs> if I didn't do my YouTube, I'd probably mm -hmm. I'd, I'd probably put time into learning how to code and stuff because like I'm. I'm fairly active in the in the modding community for Isaac and especially into the Gungeon. I have been for a while, and I re I really do enjoy that. I think that's definitely like one of my favorite things about doing YouTube. Isn't like specifically like doing the videos and stuff. It's the fact that I get to like have connections with like all the different modders and stuff, and and get some like inside scoops and and early access to stuff. I really like that. That and like I um I like got to interview Kilburn and I I versed him in a Isaac seed race thing. Which was pretty cool. Oh, wait, you did? Yeah. Um, I absolutely crushed him. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty fun. Basically, uh, do, you know, do you remember BD1P? He doesn't do Isaac content anymore, but he did for a while. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he hosted this little charity Isaac tournament where um, basically we all... There was like maybe ten of us, and we all got like a week to, to learn an Isaac seed. Um, and then we oh, had wait. to... Like, run it against each other. Oh, I thought you were the... talking about the Nuzlocke for a second there. No, no, he wasn't in the Nuzlocke, no. The Nuzlocke was pretty cool, though. Uh, but no, it wasn't the Nuzlocke. Uh, but yeah, we did like this little race thing. But also, they, they'd set it up so that um, people could donate for, for various effects to happen to different people. Uh, on their runs, so it was like a race against the clock to see who could beat it the fastest, but at the same time, you also had, um, you also had a bunch of random effects, like, tripping you up and stuff. Um, and I was absolutely crushing Kilburn because I, I like way, way, way overanalyzed the seed. I played it for like hours and hours and hours um, to make sure I'd be oh. good at it. <laughs> and um, I found like an absolutely insane route uh, for like maximizing speed, but people really didn't like seeing me win, which was great because more money got donated, but also it meant that I just got absolutely messed up with various effects. Like, at one point, um, I was on, at, like, because we, we, we did a few different runs, like, one to regular, like, um, Blue Baby, one to Mother, and one to the Beast, I think it was. Um, and on, on the, the same seed? Um, yeah. Uh, and on the Beast run, um, I got to home, and then someone paid, I think it was like £50 to remove all of my items. Oh, that's and crazy. I had to fight the beast, well, Dogma, uh, with no items. It was it was rough. But like, on the oh. on the, on the the run that we did to, to Mother, that's the one where I like absolutely crushed it. Um, I'd, I'd found um, a, I, I can't remember, I think it was like a, one of the curse rooms on one of the floors had, um, had I can't, no, it wasn't a curse room. There, there, was, there was some way that I got red key that most people didn't know about. Um, and I managed to find on the last floor, if you red keyed through a door, it would give you, like, do you know how sometimes you can, like, red key and there'll be, like, another room at the other side that connects to the actual map? And it shortcutted yeah. from room one all the way to the boss room. So I, no one else had the red key, and I was able to skip, like, an entire XL floor in, in like, one room. It was, it saved me, like, three minutes. Uh, and I was, I was just, like, I felt, like, really proud, but also I was, like, I kind of don't want to just crush Kilburn. <laughs> Oh wow! Uh, but it was that was a lot of fun. That was definitely one of my my favorite Isaac experiences I've had through through like doing YouTube and getting to meet people like that.
But even just like mm -hmm. stuff like this, like getting to talk to yourself, and then um, I spoke to another modder um, a, like a little while ago, and I kind of want to do this more. I really like this sort of stuff because it, it, it's it's cool to get the inside scoop, and then also I think I feel like modders don't really get that much of a voice in terms of actual like Isaac really. Um, like, mm -hmm. m most people just kind of download the mods and, and don't really hear anything from the modders. And obviously, there's a bunch of misconceptions and a bunch of people thinking, oh, well, this is broken because of this, and it just turns out to be, like, a compatibility issue or whatever. So it's nice to, like, be able to actually have the developers talk about their own mods rather than other people just making assumptions. <laughs> right. Something I've also wanted to cover is, like, um, the big YouTubers, like, um, that showcase mods, like, Matman, like those yeah. kinds of people. Um, I'm obviously like I'm really grateful that like my mod was shown off in a couple of his videos. Yes, but is, yeah. I feel like because of like the size of um, his audience, that like there's a, probably a decent portion of them that are just watching for the videos and not for not, like it's not translating to people actually playing the game, yeah, and, and playing your mod that. Yeah, that too. Like, I've seen this in, like, a couple of other communities I'm a part of, like, uh, Geometry Dash. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta say, it's it's it's, it's interesting seeing, like, the, the, the bigger YouTubers play. Ooh, air freshener. Does this still work? This didn't work last time I used it, but I'm hoping it does. Pretty interesting. Um, yeah, I gotta say, it's, 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 it's kind of... Oh, something wicked. Immediately... Immediately the oh, air freshener is not like working. Error. Yeah, that item that I just picked up, I was like, is it broken? I was told it was fixed. Nope, it's still broken. It seems like deja vu from the last uh, interview <laughs> with Sturban. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, I, I I like I'm a I'm a bit of a, a, a of a cursed entity when it comes to modding, especially in Gungeon. Um, like I I, I am widely known in the Gungeon modding community as like like just cursed because every single time I try someone's mod I break it in some completely ridiculous way that no one can recreate <laughs> and it's 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 very frustrating for me and everyone else so like whenever whenever Those I kind of record bugs are a video crazy, yeah I know you can get some proper weird ones but like um <laughs> every time I jump into the discord and say I've recorded a video like three people respond like oh no <laughs> what's happened <laughs> what did you do <laughs> I do like coming across some weird bugs. I mean, there was one I got in Gungeon before where, um, where, I, have you played much Gungeon? I'm actually, like, very horrible at Gungeon. I have, like, around 12 hours in the game, but I still haven't beaten it once. That is, that is way on par, do not worry. That is, that is absolutely fine. 12 hours and not beating it once is, is, like, pretty average. That's I, standard. I think, yeah, I, I, I think I spent maybe, like, when I first got into it, I think I spent maybe, like, probably, like, four hours before I beat the first floor. Oh. It, mm. it, 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 probably, it probably took me around 50, maybe 60 hours to beat my first run. Hmm. So, like, that is, that's fine. <laughs> but have, do you, have you seen the enemies in there that are, like, the Displacer Beasts? I can't remember what they're called in, in, in Gungeon. But it, it's like a cat with a bunch of bullets on its back. Yeah, I don't know yeah. that one. But basically, it's this enemy where, like, it goes... It has, like, a invisible version of itself and a real version. So the real version is the one that shoots you, and the invisible version is the one you've got to, like, go and kill to actually kill it. And I, I managed to, like, get this bug where every single time I shot the invisible version, it would just duplicate the creature and create another enemy. And it just oh. kept on creating more and more. It just filled the room to the point where every single bullet I fired was just creating, like loads of enemies until it crashed the game and it's just like how do bugs like that even happen man <laughs> uh, what the heck wait there's a glass d6 in here where also what is this using a pill heals one heart if all red hearts are filled spawn one half soul heart that's pretty good i'll take that i'll take that oh there it is i didn't see it in the corner there i do know there is like one item i was trying to code for about little fantasy or trinket, if you will. Mm. Um, if you know about it, uh, bent card. Bent card? No, I don't think I do. Yeah, basically it's just like 
a simple trinket where like it has a chance to add a coin, a bomb, or a key to your counter when the room is cleared, or a chance to subtract one instead. Oh, but like that's kind of interesting. I did not but I was like very new at modding at the time. I did not know how to track when the room cleared. And like somehow, I don't know how, I just like got such a f fatal bug that it just like broke the item, broke other items, <laughs> broke random stuff from different mods. I don't know why. <laughs> and like at this point, like even though it's like fully functional and is like pretty good as a trinket design wise, I still just don't like it. It just infected everything. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Yeah, Isaac modding is is just it's just strange. It is. But I mean, like, you can create some beautiful stuff. Like I, I'm really really happy with like the modding setup I've got now in Isaac. Is that? Did I get two Queen of Hearts? Oh, that's that's broken. That's a lot of hearts. I don't need them, but. <laughs> That's a lot of hearts. Yeah, I guess yeah, I'm really, really happy with like the mod setup that I've got now. Um, I, th I think that like Don't forget obviously the glass D6. Ah, oh, yes, thank you. My God, <laughs> I am terrible. <laughs> thank you, Benny. Thank you. Oh, right, it's a pretty good run so far. Oh God, this is a pretty hard room here. What the hell? Ah, oh, I want this angel deal so bad. I want to see this item actually do something for us. <laughs> I've been getting so unlucky. I mean, to be fair, the fact that I got an XL floor is doubly unlucky as well. Like, it's really not working right. in my favor here, is it? <laughs> but I think on, like, an ideal run, you could get, like, two or three procs off of this. Well, pro probably only, like, two, but, like, that's still, like, a plus four damage. Pretty goddamn good. Yeah. It took, like, oh, a bit of balancing. Oh, look, Battle Fantasy item. Hey, this is just, a, like, a, a generic stat item to pad out the, uh, yeah. the mod pack. You gotta do it. You gotta Pretty do much. it. That that is one thing that yeah. I'm really glad that like Isaac modders generally do. Like, there's a decent amount of items that are pretty dull, but like necessary to keep the balance of the game as it should be. And I'm glad of that. Like, mm -hmm. a lot of people just want to make overpowered items because they're the most fun to make. But it just it ruins the game. Like, Gungeon went through a bit of a phase of like a lot of the mods just just were adding too many good items. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I've done like a decent job at balancing Battle Fantasy, but um, I do know that like there's like a lot of powerful items that they're in the treasure pool, but like it is the treasure pool, it's like very it's, huge. Yeah, so. it's huge, yeah. I mean, as Does long it make as you. That much of a difference? Hey, look what it is, baby! Um, as long as you don't do what. Um what some mods do, which is... Oh, really? At least I got the class D6. Thank you for reminding me. Um, one of the things I absolutely hate, and I spoke about it with uh, uh, We Strivin as well, is just people putting loads of shit in the shop pool for no goddamn reason. Oh, uh, pool balance. Oh, man. Ooh, hello, hello. Purity, very nice. And, yeah. It's both pretty good. Yeah, there's the damage up. Beautiful stuff. Go straight to the void. <laughs> <laughs> we should hopefully be able to get a devil deal here. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, the, the the pool. I spoke about it with him. The pool balance is just absolutely out of whack. Yeah, it's like kind of the one of the reasons why I don't use retribution as often anymore. Even though like the mod is like really good, it's like pretty unbalanced in that respect. Yeah, I, in my I, opinion. To be fair, mods mods like retribution that like aren't getting an update anytime soon. I really should just go in and change the pools because it's not that hard to do. Mhm. Mm I like, for example, with uh, with Fiend Folia, I've just gotten rid of like eight of the bosses because I don't like them. <laughs> like, I'm not I'm not trying to be mean here, but like. I, I think, issue. like, Buster is not that bad. <laughs> Basically, what you're going to say is, I don't want to be mean, but skill issue. <laughs> I, I don't want to be mean, but... But, no, uh, yeah. Uh, there's, um, there's only a few of, of like, them, but... What would you say, yeah, In terms of, like, item pool balance, um, I think it's a pretty, like, split evenly. Like, I threw in a bunch of good devil items and a bunch of good angel items as well. Yeah. yeah. And, like... The boss items are like kind of hard to balance exactly because like uh, you want to make something that's like simple but 
also still interesting. And you need to, like like with this mouthwash one, you've got to keep it having a bit of flavor and, and sort of, it, like even though it's a basic item, it's kind of got to be like on par visually and like thematically. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> just got Trolled. memed on by temperance. Um, but yeah, um, you, got, you kind of got to like make it on theme and, and keep it sort of a bit more of like visually interesting for the sprite and stuff, but that's kind of hard to do as well, like... Like, because Isaac modding, just everything's been done already. Like, it's so difficult mm -hmm. to, like, think of unique things. Like, mouthwash is a pretty good one. It's a good idea for a, for a tears up. Um, but, like, is it has it already been done? I'm not sure. <laughs> There's a chance. I mean, it's highly likely, yeah. I'd say. Just, like, oh, any, like... High Ooh. Just, like... I'm, any, I'm like, liking this item, by the way. So it's house but... item. Yeah, yeah, you just yeah, gotta think like, of household Any objects. generic house items, just, like... It's probably been done. Yeah, Isaac's really interesting for um, for like theming and stuff like that. I think it, it it's one of those games where it's so wide and open, but at the same time, like if like you can't go crazy, like you you can't go too far out of the realms of reality if you want to keep things sort of within the realms of Isaac's law. I won't even say law, but like just theming. I think that obviously a lot of modders mm -hmm. don't really care, and that's fine. You don't have to. Um, but like mods that, that really stick to it, um, like, like a sort of Repentance Plus type mod that obviously is trying to be Vanilla Plus kind of thing. It, it is difficult, right. but you do have a lot of leeway. Like there is a lot of stuff you can do because it can, because obviously you can do like, oh, I want, I want to have a item because I think Repentance Plus does have this. I want an item where there's a, a little tank that follows you around. Oh, well, Isaac just has a toy tank. There you go. <laughs> That's justification enough. Yeah, but it, it kind of works. It's interesting. Did did you find that difficult, or did it, because of the theming you had with Battle Fantasy already? I'm guessing that wasn't too bad for you. Yeah, because of the like the idea for theming already, it's just like, how do I make this fit like well enough into Isaac? And like any items that were not references to the games, it's just like, um. How can I make this, like... Mm. Do you know what we should have done? Bit. And it's a, it's a little bit late now, well, no. but we should have given ourselves duality and maybe even go ahead. <laughs> Especially duality, though. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Here we go. It doesn't matter. That's we found a new one. <laughs> <laughs> Spawns eternal chest in the center of special rooms using a key on it. Um, has a 50% chance to convert. Um, cons conserve it. Ooh, really good. Item spawn from Eternal Chest, cycle between the original item and an item from the Angel Pool. Okay, by special rooms, does it mean any special rooms? So I can still find them later in the run. Specifically, Treasure, Angel, Vault, and Sacrifice. So Okay, Sacrifice Room, good. Nice, let's, let's, let's go look. Oh no, we've got mapping, we don't have a Sacrifice Room here. Okay. That's cool, I like that. I like that. But yeah, this, this has been a little bit of a light showcase and more of just a chat, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, I'm, I'm pretty chill with that, honestly. Yeah, me too. I mean, I, I like, obviously, I don't know how long you've been watching my content for, um, but obviously over the last, like, month, I've drastically copied Lazy, Lazy Matman in my thumbnails. <laughs> I'm just going to admit it, uh, yeah. because it, it, it works, like, a crazy I, amount. I I'm getting, like, like, way more views. Yeah, I was just, like, thinking about um, what the title of this video would be, just, like, this modder blessed my run or something like <laughs> yeah. I'm just like trying to imagine can, what it's gonna be can 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 you quickly just send me a, a picture of you going like oh and like hold, hold, holding your hands <laughs> to your face <laughs> uh, uh. I'd, I'd rather not face reveal this early <laughs> uh. But yeah, like, I gotta say, I've obviously changed my style quite a bit. I honestly hate it, I'll be honest. I really think these thumbnails are um, a bit stinky, but they work, like, significantly better than my my custom art ones do, which is a real shame, but that's that's the way that YouTube works nowadays, so I just had mm -hmm. to bend to it. Well, I'm actually kind of annoyed at myself for not doing this, like, two years ago. My channel would probably have about 15,000 more subs if I'd have just done this ages ago, but I was too stubborn to let my art go. Uh, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I was sort of thinking about that, what I'm going to do for the thumbnail of this. But I, I think I'm probably just going to put, like, these items and be like, these new items are fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they it's, are. 
It's the I, classic. I'm not, I'm not the biased. Classic. I'm just saying. Yeah, I, I gotta agree. I, I, honestly, this Eden's Tears one, anyone that's watched my content for a while will know I love me some random effects. Any item in any game that's like, here's wacky tear effects, here's fruitcake, here's um, three dollar bill, I, I'm, I'm down for it every single time. So having an item that's like gonna give me random effects, absolutely on the money for the sort of item that I'm gonna enjoy. Mm. And it's 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 proven to be very strong actually. I've gotten a ton of cards out of it. I've gotten like loads of um loads of soul stones and stuff like that. Um runes. I've had like a good few uh like consumables out of it. I mean look at my consumable game. I've got like twenty one keys and nineteen bombs. I'm pretty sure a good amount of them have been from like the random justice cards and stuff. I like the fact that it can pop random cards though, because that temperance it just it like imagine you're playing Lost and you have Le funny moment where <laughs> temperance kills you. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I like Eden's stuff like Tears that. was like an it was actually an interesting one to code because like I had the idea for it like months back, and then like I got a sprite for it. Um, <gasps> it's a devil like, pretty deal. Close we to got one. Oh, nice. <laughs> awesome. So we gained a good amount of damage out of that beautiful stuff. Amazing. Yeah. Sorry, carry on. So, uh, I got a sprite for it, like, pretty close to development ending, but, like, I didn't want the scope to, like, increase too much when it was, like, very close to done. So, I yeah. just, like, put it for later. And then, like, I started coding it, and, like, when I designed the item, I just, like, imagined, like, oh, yeah, it's just gonna be, like, jumper cables and, like, um,. Charm of the Vampire and like whatnot. It, there isn't like that many on kill effects, but then I just like looking through everything is like Lusty Blood. <laughs> yeah, um, there's, there's, there's a lot. Eve's so bird foot, the quince. I gotta say, so the, the it says from like a custom list. So th this this list is basically just every on kill effect that exists in the game. <laughs> well, almost because like I, I had a tough time rough. trying to code uh, a theme, so I'll probably oh, leave that right, one for yeah. later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you just, for a microsecond, give the player a theme and a hundred luck, and then take it away from them once it's triggered? Easy Isaac <laughs> workaround. <laughs> uh, perhaps. <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah, some of these, like, miscellaneous ones, like the um, cards uh, being used and the soul stones dropping, are actually like, custom from other features in the mod. Ah, right, nice. Yeah, I think it's I think it's really cool. Hey, look at this. Right, give me an item. I want an angel item. Don't you dare just tell me that that was it. How <laughs> dare you? <laughs> my God, my luck. I actually had somebody in the um, in like one of the comments showcasing this mod like say that white keys should be quality four, and here's a long list of reasons why. And then I said. Well, the, the chest can just like not open, you know. Yeah, <laughs> so, like there's that. I, 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 it seems like an actual like a really fun item to cover, to be honest. So I'm probably gonna make a video on it at some point because I think it's just got a lot of potential for an interesting and potentially overpowered run. But you are right, like if, if your luck is poo poo, you, you're not gonna get much out of it. But I, right. I, like the fact that it's a 50% chance to not consume your keys is pretty wild. That that's really really strong. It, it is pretty strong. <laughs> now the question is. 50% chance to not consume a key. Can I try and open it with zero keys with a 50% chance to open it for free? <laughs> I'm guessing not. I don't think it works like that. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Honestly, I really like designing uh, utility items like that because, like, I, I was going to mention this a little bit earlier, but uh, my Isaac's, like, playstyle has kind of grown to be, like, uh, like a dirty min maxer, just like if I can like min max it, I'll do it. I went through a phase of of mega mega min maxing because I'm like I, like I said again. I, I, how long have you watched my content for? I don't know how long you've you've sort of watched my Isaac videos for. To be fair, I think it's like at least a year. Yeah, maybe more. Um, and you you probably see that I have this way of playing where basically I'll min max. Until I think that I've gotten the win, and then I'll just speed run the rest. Ooh, another battle fantasy. I'm seeing a lot here. Tears up for every room away from the boss um, 
from the boss room. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, for every wave you are away from the boss. Oh, I like this idea. That's very cool. Hmm. I mean, we're not going to get any tiers right now because we're at like tier cap, basically. But that's a really cool item. Um, no, it updated. <laughs> oh, did it? Okay, nice one. There you go. That's a lot of tiers. Nice. I like that a lot. That's a really cool idea. Um, yeah. But, like, um, the amount of min-maxing I do is, like, if you know, like, not albino, like, those yes. videos, like, that kind. Where, like, literally every run is, I am gonna find Arky if I can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> there's, like, a back and forth I had with, like, one of my friends and, like, another mod developer on um, Battle Fantasy, where I would just, like, send him screenshots of... Me picking up sharp plug from death certificate. <laughs> the most broken item possible. It, yeah, and honestly, uh, I think it is. It, it really can be. I'll uh, say it. it. It's like it's like a hot take, I guess. It's pretty insane. Um, and my then uh, like a couple of months ago, before I sort of rejiggered my channel and my thumbnails and all that sort of stuff, um, I did a I did a win streak on Finfolia, which was like a fifty-seven win streak, I think. Which I'm still that's really still proud pretty of. That's still pretty impressive. Yeah, the Fiendfolia, I'm very proud of that. Like base game, that's that's okay, but Fiendfolia, that's like very good. Um, but um, that I was min maxing pretty hard. <laughs> the game is a lot more fun if you min max. I just most of the time for me, it's like if I record a video, I typically don't want it to be over an hour. Just for for, for my own enjoyment, but also because typically those videos don't get as many views. Like, yeah, there's also the fact that, like, of course, with a lot of mods, just, like, lag, so... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, exactly, like, I yeah. only have a laptop to my name, so... Oh, I'm, I'm running a 49 here right now. I have a beast of a machine. So, oh, to be fair, that doesn't affect Isaac's lag at all. It still lags. Um, but that's going right. to close out our run, people. Um, unless we want to use Gilmora to go back and uh, and run through all of those rooms again. Um, but no, we can, we can chat a little bit to close this out. I think that was a, a fun run. And we actually managed to see a good few Battle Fantasy items in there. Which is actually kind of surprising. Because how many items does it add? Like 30 or something? 40? Oh, it's like 40. Yeah, yeah I guess it, but then again, it, like in the grand scheme of Isaac modding, especially the amount I have on, forty is not a lot. So it's kind of surprising we saw as many as we did. It's, it, it was pretty cool. Um, it gives me a, it gives me a bit to work with with the thumbnail. But yeah, I definitely think the um, the was what was it called the white key um, is going to be one that I take a look at because that seems really interesting. And that sunflower one seems mm -hmm. just just really good too. I, like that's one thing uh, just to sort of talk about before we end off here that I find really interesting with Isaac modding. It, as we were saying earlier with like sprites everything's been done it's kind of crazy that people can even still think of item effects that haven't been done like that sunflower one is really unique and it's it's basic it's pretty simple and it's like it's not anything super exciting but it's a good item and it's a really unique idea like how do you sort of go about coming up with that sort of stuff is that something that like you'd had sort of locked away for a little while and you were just waiting until the point that you could add it to your mod or was that just something that kind of came out the blue um usually my like idea of making process is kind of like it, it either goes with two ways like i see an item and then think of an effect or like think of an effect and then make an item mm -hmm. Because um, I've, I've always had, like, a, a few ideas for items that I've never really got around to finding a way to implement. Like, I like the idea of, like, a money equals power, but for bombs, where the more bombs you have, the more damage your bombs do. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I can say I think a lot of people have that. Like, I've asked in my comments a few times. In fact, I didn't do a question of the day today, so if you made it to the end of the video, here's your question of the day. What's your modded item idea? And I'm going to force Aeronaut to make it. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> but uh, it'd be interesting to see. I, I do I do find it funny when you ask, like, a bunch of just... I almost said regular people, like, with some sort of celebrities. No. Um, <laughs> when you ask a bunch of like, Isaac players, like, that don't mod is what I mean. That don't know about the sort of the behind the scenes to, like, give item effects. And they'll, some people just give the most outlandishly ridiculous ideas that are completely impossible to curd. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I just, like, that. see, like, pretty outrageous ideas, like, in general. Like, I'm kind of, like, a regular in the yes, modding I, of Isaac, I, like, Discord I, I, server. I, I, so, say, like, I already know what you're going to say, because there's some people that, that put some 
some strange stuff in there, isn't there? <laughs> There is a there is like a recent one that showed up in the ideas channel. It was like called Yum Pacemaker. <laughs> oh man, I remember seeing. I, I um, don't know why. <laughs> I remember seeing. I think I don't remember. If it was, I think it was for Gungeon rather than Isaac. But someone wanted to make like a mod where you could like you could like create a, a, a like a, a bridge across pits across gaps. But it would like actually like animate and build the bridge across the gaps when you used it, and it's just like that's just so much work for an for basically. Doesn't that just... kind of invalidate pits? Like, yeah, it's like the just whole give point you, of them. Just give yourself flight if you're gonna do that. <laughs> like, it's so extra. Oh man. But yeah, it was great talking to you. Um, I'd, I'd definitely be down to do this again if you uh, if you update Battle Fantasy more. Um, I'm sure you will. And if there's another few items you want me to showcase and you want to join in for a run. And yeah, people in the comments, let me know what you thought about this sort of thing. I know it's a bit different than my usual style. I don't typically do videos with people, especially my Isaac videos. But I think it's different and I think it's fun, um, especially if it's only like once in a while. And I do want to have more modders on in the future. So if there's other people you want me to speak to, let me know and I'll see if I can work things out. Um, but either way, yeah, it was great having you on, and yeah, I'll speak to you soon. Yeah, thanks for having me on. No worries. Really glad to be here and, like, talk my stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's just great to, like, like I said, you typically modders don't really get that platform to kind of talk about their own content, so I think it's fun to have that as part of the process. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.